<laughs> oh my god, get me out of here. That guy's super creepy. Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Burn. Welcome back to Dark Souls, the continuing legend of Sodetimus, the knight. Last time, we journeyed through the undead parish and we met this guy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up? Whoa, that barrel's like sliding. What the heck? That's weird. This is the blacksmith, though. It's going through the wall. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, this is my buddy, the blacksmith. He is content to just, you know, bang on his sword all day, but little does he know... There's something down here. I peeped a little bit, guys, just because I wanted to see what was this way, and it's this guy. Crazy, weird, headless guy. Okay, he shoots lightning out. That's all I know about this dude. I kind of want to see what's on the other side, though, because there's, like, a door there. I'm going to run. Okay, if we can make it to the other side past him, I want to see what's through this door. Uh, it's all purpley and foresty. Let's check it out. Go, 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 go. Ugh. So this guy is really creepy. He wasn't behind a fog gate, so I don't think he's a boss. Okay, so I guess this is the forest. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet, so I might just head back. But eventually I think we're going to go in here. Uh. Alright, I might try to see if I can take this guy on. Because he's not a boss, for sure. Like, he has no health bar with a name at the bottom, and there's no fog gate, so he can't be that tough, right? He's so cool looking. He's He reminds me of, like, the xenomorphs from Aliens with the, uh, because he's got that crazy tail. Except he doesn't have a head or one of his legs. Ugh. Ugh, I shouldn't have rolled into him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. We're taking some damage here. His weapon is really cool. He's got, like, crazy range. Plus, you know, it shoots lightning. That's always good. Right on cue, buddy. He kind of slows down when he shoots the lightning. If I could, like, trick him into shooting it. There we go. And I can go in and stab him a few times. I try to get close to some of the guys that have range, because then I can kind of, you know, hit him without them getting me as easily. Let me see if I can... Whoa! Okay. He jumps really good for a guy with one leg. <laughs> Look at his his neck. Kind of looks like a anvil or something. It's got, like, writing on it. It's cool. I have to try to not get too distracted by how cool some of these guys look, because uh, sometimes I get, you know... They have really cool designs, so I just want to, like, look at <laughs> what they look like, and then I get distracted and I forget to, like, roll or, you know... Here we go. Get him. I'm kind of whittling him down. Look out. Ugh. So yeah, he swings from the right, so if I stay on this side of him, I think I can stab him a bunch. I gotta look out for that tail. And when he does that, that jump is insane. You know what? He... Oh! Ugh. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Jeez. That's close. You know what he reminds me of? Um, the Neo statues. N-I-O. They're these, uh, they have a couple names. They're these Buddhist statues that, I think they're usually made of wood. This guy looks like he's made of stone or metal or something. But he, uh, they're kind of these, like, muscular statues. They're always in a pair, and they're really cool looking. If you've ever played Street Fighter, the character Akuma is based on the, the statues. They're really sweet, and, uh, they are, like, protectors of different, you know, temples and stuff. So look those up if you want to see what they look like. I might put a picture in here. Anyways, ugh, I might be able to take this guy. I don't know. He's got crazy range. Have a firebomb, buddy. On me. There we go. I might firebomb him a little. I think I can take him if I keep circling. Look out. Ugh. Whoa, that was a weird fake out. He didn't even, like, he just kind of, like, swiped at his feet. Maybe he's, like, partially blind because he doesn't have a head. All right. I think I'm going to try to take this guy down. Let's do some speeding up. Yeah, all right, got him. He has some pretty big blind spots, I noticed. Demon Titanite, okay. And if you stand on the stairs, he kind of like whiffs it above your head. Just gotta watch out for that jump attack. He is very spry for a one-legged guy. All right, Mr. Blacksmith, you're welcome. I got rid of this guy for you. He didn't even know that I was fighting him. <laughs> all right, we're gonna head back to the Undead Parish and continue on towards the bell. Okay, we are back in the Undead Parish, and we're going to climb up the church here. Hopefully we'll find one of those Bells of Awakening I've heard so much about. You might have noticed that Sir Dedimus is looking quite spiffing. His visage has been restored. I actually 
used a uh, humanity to restore myself, and I kindled the bonfire near the blacksmith. That way we could get more Estus flasks, because uh, we're getting close to a boss fight, I'm reckoning here. We're about to go on top of the church. There's a summon sign here. I could, now that I'm human, I could actually summon guys, which is pretty sweet. Hey, is the... <laughs> Is this Praise of the Sun guy? Knight Solaire. Sweet! I didn't know you could summon NPCs. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I've summoned people before in Demon Souls, but I always feel like it's the victory is not as deserved if I don't do it on my own, so I might try that later, though. Ugh. Yeah. If, uh, if Demon Souls taught me anything, though, it's that if you see creepy gargoyles, they'll probably come alive and try to kill you. So, here we go. <laughs> the bell is probably up there, and we gotta fight our way past that guy. He looks nice. He's got a sweet axe. He's actually really cool looking. I really love a lot of the, you know, demon monster designs in these games. They're just, I don't know, they're really cool and original and just, I don't know, they're awesome. Sometimes I get so distracted, though, that I forget I need to kill them and steal their souls. Alright, so I actually didn't upgrade anything at the blacksmith. I might regret it here, now that we're fighting this crazy gargoyle, but uh, I figured I'm, I might not hold on to my armor or weapon for very much longer if I get better stuff, so why upgrade it and waste the titanite and the souls? I'm trying to get around this guy. He's really quick for a big old gargoyle. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa. This music is cool. It kind of sounds like the Star Wars like lightsaber battle music. Yikes. I gotta look out. His tail is an axe, apparently. Okay. That's cool. Ugh, take your word for that one. Ugh, when he flies, I can't see where I am, and then it's really tough to tell if I'm gonna... Uh, please don't attack me. Okay. Whoa, that's cool. It's really hard to tell if I'm gonna fall off the roof, which I do not want to happen. I kind of have a fear of heights in real life, so, you know, that transfers to video games. This game's already scary enough without having to fall off a building while I'm fighting a crazy gargoyle. Okay, hopefully we can do this. Ugh, oh, he got me. Slice him! Slice him! Dice him! Julian. Alright. <laughs> He's got a sweet shield too, but he isn't really using it. I haven't seen him block once since we started. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, there's a blood stain. Let's tap it. Just watch that guy roll around in the background while I try to kill this gargoyle. His helmet is crazy. He's got little, like, horns or something on it. Uh, okay, look out! Ugh. Get up, get up, get up! Alright, I want to try to get him to attack long enough for me to heal. Look out! No! Whoa, he kind of like stabbed through me. Oh, so the other thing I forgot to mention, my Estus flasks, I just mentioned that I, I kindled to get better Estus flasks. I, if you look, it says plus one. No. <laughs> That's because uh, when I used that Firekeeper soul back at the Firelink Shrine, it actually increased the effectiveness of my Estus flasks, which is pretty sweet. So it makes it, ooh, did I hurt him? He sliced his wings or something there. Okay, okay, buddy. Don't calm down. I gotta be careful. I only have five flasks left. Ugh. But yeah, now they that they have plus one, they actually heal a lot more, which is very useful, especially when I'm fighting crazy bosses. Mm, okay, come on, buddy. Ugh, just let me slice you. Stop stopping me. I gotta kill you, buddy. I gotta kill you. You're going. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> oh no! I should have figured. Oh my God! There's two gargoyles. Ugh, this is like uh, Demon Souls. There's a boss called the Man Eater, and there were two of them, and one spawned very shortly after the first. So it was very tough. Ugh, their fire can break my shield. Ugh, can break through my defenses. Okay, that one looked like he got a little short changed on the clothes. He has like really messed up wings, too. What happened to him? He just he doesn't have the cool weapon or the armor or anything. Alright, buddy, I want to try to single one of these guys out if I can. They're really sticking together. They are brothers, and they stick together till the end. Man, I can't even see what's going on. No, let me block. Okay, got a slice in there at least. Jeez, that was a horrible camera angle. They were just on top of me. All right, do your fire thing. I'll be over here, you know, healing myself. Okay, get him, ugh. Yeah, oh, so this is probably the time to whip out this secret weapon, if I can use it. Oh my god, I have this gold pine resin that I would really like to use. Can I hide back here? So this will, I think it, yeah, it adds lightning to my weapon. So hopefully this will help me. Oh my gosh, that probably wasn't a good idea to go back into a corner. Okay, get him, get him. Whoa, whoa, his tail came off. Awesome. Did I kill one of them? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
There's like stuff flying around everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. I got my, my crazy lightning, but I need to get back so I can heal. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, give me time to heal, please. Do your crazy attack. Okay, they're both doing fire. No, look out. Ugh, yes, okay. Okay, I don't need to see that there's a tail axe. Okay, there we go. I forgot to push X, so it got it off the screen. All right, that probably wasn't the best idea to go back in the corner. I really have to use my pine resin while I have it. Okay, yeah, if I stay above them, they can't hit me as well. Oh no, he's gonna fire. Ugh, I need to heal. We're running out of Estus flasks here. Look out, no. Ugh, at least it kind of locks me in that animation so I can kind of, you know, get my bearings again. I really need to use my crazy electric powers here before it runs out. Slice, slice, slice. Get him! Ugh. Oh, I think it ran out, because I'm not doing that much damage. I cannot see where I'm going. <laughs> oh my god. These camera angles, when I lock on and they fly, is crazy. Okay, please use your... Please use your fire so I can heal. Alright, I might use one more pine resin. Uh, wait till they're both using fire. Look out! Okay, we got it, we got it. I just gotta get in there close. I only have one Estus Flask left. Get him, get him, get him! This is my chance! Yes! One dead. Get the other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I don't need to see all that. What the heck? I got a bunch of loot from him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes. Got him. All right. Sweet. Gargoyle Helm. We got so much cool stuff. Awesome. All right. Twin Humanities. Oh, my God. I, I probably shouldn't have used two of those, but, you know, that was a tough fight. And we made it with one Estus Flask to spare. All right. Thank you guys for sticking with me. That was crazy. I, I was kind of expecting, you know, it to be tough, but I wasn't expecting two of them at the same time. I should have known, though. They're, like, everywhere. Let's climb up. My, my sword is going crazy with electricity. Oh, man. Gotta catch my breath a little bit. But I'm super pumped to see what those... All, it seemed like I got, like, a million things from those guys. I have to go check that out. But first, I think we need to climb up here and ring this bell. The lightning, like, ran out right at the end. Whoa. Look at this view. We can kind of see the whole castle and stuff from here. Ugh, there's more gargoyles. Those ones don't look like they're gonna move, though, because they're, like, they're not as well, you know, r rendered as the others. It's like in a cartoon, like an old cartoon, when you would see things in the background that were drawn differently. It's like you know that they're gonna move, because, like, yeah, they'll just be drawn slightly different. They're not a background. All right, we did it! Let the bell ring out! It's an accomplishment to get this far, but I'm actually more excited to look at the stuff that I got than to hear the bell. Ah, <sighs> get a moment's, you know, rest here. Thank you guys for sticking with me so much. And thank you for leaving tips and stuff. You guys have been good at, you know, leaving me little hints but not spoiling stuff, which is good because I'm trying to do this as blind as possible. But having little tips, you know, helps me because then I know a little bit about, you know, what I should be doing, what type of, like, weapons I should maybe be using. We'll have to check out those weapons. We'll do that next time. And uh, let's get out of here. I'm going to head back. I think we have to head down towards where those skeletons were in Firelink Shrine. And then we'll head towards the other bell and go ring that. Ugh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Who is this guy? Hello? Greetings. Greetings. I am Oswald of <laughs> Do you want a hug or something? What's going on? Look at him. Hmm. Tis a warm welcome to you, too, my friend. Oh, no. Is he, like, a zealot? Yeah, he's a kind of a, like, a religious zealot. Ooh, okay. Purchase items. Sweet. So I can break her. He's got a lot of stuff here. A miracle. Talisman. Rings. Okay. I'll have to look at that later. Oh, I can do stuff with his covenant and learn gesture. Well, what is it? We learned a new gesture. Let's finish with that. Oh. Thanks. It is only to commit a sin. <laughs> oh my god, get me out of here. That guy's super creepy. Why are all the humans in this game just as creepy as the monsters? Okay, so let's, uh, I guess they're undead. I'll switch out my bow, and we'll switch it with our new gesture here, and we'll finish with, well, what is it? It's a cool taunt. Well, Gargoyles, you want to try? You want to try me? I killed your buddies. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls. Goodbye.